don't take this list as gospel. This is what I'm it's not a sense. I personally still have a lot to fix. Okay, so everyone's making a video about what their gear is and what they have, and I thought this will be kind of fun, so I'll show you what kind of gear I have. So for starters, we have this backpack. I don't know how large it is. Um, I'm going to say it looks to be about 60, 70 liters. Now, okay, here's some backstory. I haven't backpacked in a long time. Oh, jeez, when was it? 2015. It's been about five years since I've done anything sort of like that. Um, I was in Boy Scouts back when I lived in California. Get back to the video. I have this standard issue backpack. Um, pretty much how, how I got this actually was I was talking with a major and my squadron and he, we were talking about outdoor stuff and he was like, yeah man, if you just go to supply, they'll just issue you a backpack. So a lot of this stuff is actually issued to me, which is really great because it'll help me cost-wise. So back to the video. Here's this backpack. Um, it's really, really big, honestly. I don't think I'm gonna fit everything I need in here. And... This is a backpack, it's a, what is it, true, true spec? I don't know anything about it. I think it's my size. Anyways, moving on is the sleeping bag. This is also a standard issue sleeping bag. Um, this green one is a 30 degree bag and it comes with a black bag that's also a negative 10 degree bag. And then if you move them together, uh, it goes down to negative 50 which I think is really good. This sleeping bag is pretty, it's pretty nice. Um, I haven't slept in it yet. I actually haven't, I haven't backpacked at all yet. I haven't even gone camping yet. So this will be fun. <laughs> Anyways, this is the backpack. I mean, the, <laughs> the, the backpack. This is a sleeping bag. Um, I'm gonna show another video of it compressed. This is my sleeping pad. I don't know uh, what the R value is. I don't know how good it is or anything like that, but it's my size and the width is pretty regular. So, and it's like not even an inch thick. So it's a self inflating pad. I should say that as well. I have this extra fleece right here just in case but with the bag being a 30 degree bag, I don't think I need it. Next thing I have right here is this uh, Apex jacket. It's the Apex Parka. It's a waterproof jacket. It's also issued to me. Uh, I got this at basic training. It's really nice. It'll keep you warm and it's completely waterproof. I think so. These are the thermal set that I just threw in there. This was also standard issue. I got these when I got here in Mountain Home. Uh, they're my size, so I'm not gonna complain. These were free, so. I don't need to buy any fancy thermals, so these will work just fine. And then I have this is the stuff sack. I probably showed it to you. Um, so here's something you should see is that the information on here is like very simple. It's very uh, militarized. It's very official. I'll say that. I don't know how to. Whatever. Let's see. What's next? I have a trash bag. So I'm pretty sure that the sleeping bag, or no, this, oh my lord, I'm everywhere today. I'm pretty sure that the backpack is waterproof, but some people need a sleeping, or a, a pack liner, excuse me, some people need a pack liner. I looked at it, and it's like, it's, it's plastic. It's plastic. You can do the same thing with a trash bag, so that's what I have here is a trash bag, just in case. You're, so when you buy backpacking stuff, what I notice is that you're paying for plastic. You're paying for fancy plastic. I have this headlamp. A friend gave it to me. I'm ordering another one. It's called a Nightcore or something something. I saw it online. Uh, it's a rechargeable one. It goes up to 360 lumens. I don't know what that means. 
but it's a rechargeable one and I was like, I'll buy it. I actually found it on this website called GovX and it's a website where they have uh, military deals and special things for military and service members only. I think that's really cool. Check that out. I will actually link it. Um, I will link everything else that I bought on Amazon. Right here I have this whoopee or it's a poncho liner. It's called a whoopee and I don't know what it could be used as like a tarp perhaps. Maybe if I want to go ultra light camping I could just have this as my uh, tarp. I'll see. Next thing I have is this trowel. It's, it expands out and I think for the extra weight um, you can sit, you can like put your butt on one half of it so that way you're not like squatting. You're sitting on on the trowel. I'll show you a video, you know what I mean. And I think for the extra weight, uh, I might do that. I don't know. I will be car camping. So here's the thing. Back to me. I will be car camping the first couple times just to get used, just to get that feel of camping, right? And then I'm going to start backpacking, like drive to the trailhead and just go. And then I want to start doing some extreme backpacking, like like hike Mount Bora, which is the tallest peak here in Idaho. And then one of something actually really, really want to do is is climb uh, Mount Everest. I think that'd be cool. So yeah, you'll see a lot of adventures like that. Let's see, I have, what's else in this bag? Oh, I have these tissues and this little first aid kit. Um, I don't need to show the video. I don't need to make anything fancy with that. And then that was all in this waterproof bag. Uh, it has a weird drawstring thing on it, so I don't know how to close it? Question mark? Anyways, that was everything inside my pack. This is it. That's just all this stuff. Just. Yep. So the next thing is storage, food, I guess, food stuff. So, first thing on the list, I haven't bought this yet. Uh, but this is the one I want. It's a Tokes Titanium 750 milliliter pot. Um, so Tokes 750 milliliter pot. I have this platypus right here. It's a uh, three liters, I think. Oh, it shows two liters right here. I think it's two and a half liters. And then I have a water filter. I'm gonna try out this Sawyer Mini. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. Ugh, I don't know if it's gonna be good. Uh, but it's a filter, so I'll use it. The only thing I don't like is, yeah, I have to flush it back. Like, that's annoying. I don't want to bring this little syringe with me. Uh, next thing I have is this cup. It's this collapsible cup. So I wanted this one from... It's called an X cup. I don't know where... What, what the brand is called. But I found this one at Walmart, and I was kind of pissy over it. I was like, well, it's like $3 for this thing. And I saw the other one that was like $10. So in my mind, I was thinking like, well, this is going to be a crappy one. You know what? This was $3, so I'm not going to complain. And if I don't like it, I, oh wait, I already threw away the receipt. Well, I guess I'm keeping this now. Um, <laughs> but I got red because it was the only available color. <laughs> uh, what else? I, you can technically put boiling water in this. So the only reason why I wanted a cup like this was to put juice in and tea. That that was a. Let's see. I had this hydration bladder. Another same thing with the hydration bladder. Like this was twelve dollars. I was like, this is gonna suck because it's Walmart brand and blah blah blah. And I was like, it's plastic. You need the only reason you need a hydration bladder is something that can hold water that's BPA free. This is BPA free and it holds two liters. I'm not gonna complain, because this was $12. You could go to REI and find something like this for like 30. Come on. Okay, so next thing, I don't have a tent yet. I still need to get a tent, but the tent I have finally, <laughs> I got to sneeze. I, I didn't need to sneeze, but I can't sneeze. <laughs> Anyways. 
Um, the tent that I finally settled on was the REI Half Dome One tent. Um, don't know if that's going to be the right kind or not, but it's nice. It's got pockets, and I'll update you if I like it or not. So a sleeping pad I want to upgrade to is this Big Agnes Ultra Care sleeping pad. It's it's got an R value of like four and a half. So I got the stove uh, on Amazon and I did research on it. Someone mentioned it. It's like twelve dollars and it's apparently never never failed. It's really good. So I'm gonna use that one. Um, another thing I got was an electric lighter. It's a rechargeable lighter. So it's really easy to start fires. Some things for fun. So what am I gonna do for fun? I have a yoga mat. I'll probably do a lot of yoga um, in the mountains. And then I will also bring my hammock. I don't know if there's gonna be trees on different hikes or not, but I thought about bringing my hammock. Instead of a chair, I'll bring a hammock. And then I might bring a book, I don't know. I kinda, so, my thing with backpacking is I kinda want it to be like, quiet like nothing in my mind and just me and the nature that's like my goal my plan right now now mind you I haven't done anything in five years so I'm getting all this gear and yeah so starting out with food I'm going to be eating M MREs I have this MRE right here let me show you what else I have I also have a uh, 20 liter, also a 5 gallon water tank, and I have this fuel tank right here. So for car camping and also for, for overland camping, uh, I'll have a lot of extra fuel if need be, and I'll have a lot of water. Just here's a little bucket list I want to do. I want to go pick wild huckleberries. I think that'd be super cool. I want to explore the Sawtooth Mountains here in Idaho. I think that'd be super cool. I also want to uh, climb Boris Peak, which is the highest summit in Idaho. So yeah, oh, camera gear. Let's see, I have this camera, which is the Canon T7i. I have a Joby 3K, and I have a Rode Video Micro. Um, I have this DJI Mavic Mini as well. Uh, I bought it specifically for backpacking, and it's ultra light. <laughs> 249 grams what else do I need medical so with medical stuff what I'm gonna have is just this sports tape just to stop bleeding and tape like a little roll of uh, medical tape as well I said the same thing they're both tape but they're different types of tape um, really just something to stop the bleeding I don't think you need like ibuprofen or anything like that. I'll bring my uh, multivitamin. It's called Sunrise. Uh, I take it currently. I don't know if I like it now, but I know that it's kind of good for you and it's extra vitamins. So why not? I'll bring it. It's super light. Um, yeah, this video was kind of all over the place. I'm just thinking right now, anything else I need to say? No, that's all. Uh, you're going to get some updates of me and my outdoor adventures, so stay tuned for that. And catch you later, boss man. Ugh.